What happens to children in the first 2,000 days of life can set up their health and development across their life course. This is the time where actually the habits that last a lifetime form. I'm Rebecca Golley and I'm Professor of Dietetic Research at Flinders Caring Futures Institute. The problems that we're trying to solve in the Healthy Start to Life area of focus centre around understanding what it's like for children and families in today's modern world. What we need is to make sure that caregivers feel supported, they have access to the information that's going to make a difference so that they can do one of the hardest jobs in the world, which is raising children well and in a way that makes them feel confident and competent and delivers those positive outcomes for children. Our ability to have people from a really wide range of disciplines that can come around and understand the problems that are being faced out in the community and then come up with new solutions, that's the strength in what we can bring as a Caring Futures Institute. We know that it's getting harder for families to get into the health services, to have those really important checks to make sure that children are developing well. So we partnered with Good Start Early Learning Centres to take those checks out into where children are spending their time. Hi, my name is Claire Lang and I'm the Centre Director here at Good Start Early Learning in Ross Trevor. Our vision is for children to have the best possible start to life. Going through this process I personally have more of an understanding and I think I can probably have those conversations with families with more confidence around their development and I feel like I can point them in the right direction and support them for that early intervention. By taking some of the child development checks out of the health sector and into the education sector, it means that we have more people involved in checking children and making sure that their development is tracking well and it means that we've got more ways to get children into those critical support services if they need them. All the nurses and students that came in, the passion for the support of the children and their role really showed in the conversation. I don't see why anyone wouldn't want to work with someone that was able to support us and our children. We learnt so much, just having them here and seeing them engage with our children and going through that checklist as well. It benefited our centre because our children were able to have that best start to life. At Flinders Caring Futures Institute, we have really rich connections. By having this network of partnerships, we know that we are doing research that is needed and is going to make a difference. And we're working together with our policy and practice partners to really change the experience that South Australian and all Australian children experience in those first 2,000 days of life. The future that we're imagining at Caring Futures Institute is an experience where parents don't experience any wrong entry points. They can access any touch point and make sure that they have that continuity of care no matter where they go across the early years system.